welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Deep Dimples. Thank you for tuning in today. And if you are new here, I would like for you to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know what to do with DDT Gang. You already know what's going on. Hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to share this video, you guys. And as you can tell by the title, y'all, y'all already know what's going on today. Um, you know what I got going over here? I got a little feast going on over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a little mukbang going. Let me take the lid off this. Off this right here. Ooh. Look at all this garlic. Alright, so y'all, um, I got a little mukbang going on today. I have, I can't toot it too much, y'all, but as you can see, I got corn, shrimp, crab, potatoes, you know what I'm talking about, the whole nine, you know what I'm saying. I got some mozzarella sticks on the side, you know what I'm saying, mind your business. So, um, let's get into it. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all. So, I'm going to tell y'all. Oh, let me put y'all on the game. This is lemon and garlic and stuff. Already, it's not so spicy. It's not hot. You know what I'm saying? I can eat hot food and spicy food, but to my limit. It got to be a certain extent. And, um, don't sleep on the hot and spicy cocktail sauce. Five for the shrimps and the crabs. And you know what I'm saying? I ain't um, doing nothing if you ain't got a little hot sauce, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's hot, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't all that hot. Like, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really, you know, hitting on nothing on the palate. You know what I'm talking about? So, let me tell y'all how um, I got caught sneaking out. I call myself sneaking out, y'all. Y'all that know me, know who I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. But let me just tell y'all for the ones that don't know what's going on, that don't know me. Y'all, okay, so, I grew up in Florida City, okay? That's first and foremost. I gotta, just gotta put that out there so y'all can, you know what I'm saying, understand? Florida City is a city in my, um, in Florida, in Miami, Florida, um, it's before you get to the keys. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm from. So I, I, I grew up in Florida City, right? And um, a lot of things don't work in our favor down there all the time. So, y'all, when I live with my um, grandmother, so I had my best friend at the time. You know, she was a little older than me. So... Um, she was more experienced or whatever. So, I used to call myself, I don't know why, I just used to call myself, like, like, just leaving without telling nobody, like, like I'm grown or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't that, and I'm not feeling like I'm grown. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't feel the need to tell nobody, like, if I'm walking down the street or if I'm going to the store or, you know what I'm saying, if I'm leaving the house, like, I just don't, didn't feel the need at that time. To tell nobody when I'm leaving, you know what I'm saying? So that be that was like that was like a bad habit that I had, you know. That was a like a bad habit that I had. Um my man said to me, so y'all gonna have to wait a hundred, wait a minute. But anyways, y'all. So let me tell y'all about this story time. I got myself sneaking out, right? So what had happened was me and my best me and my best friend at the time, y'all. Me and my best friend at the time, y'all. Um, I had stayed the night at I was um I always used to stay at the night at her house and stuff like that. She used to stay the night at my house too, but I was more at her house than I was more at her house than anything. So one day, you know. I had went to her house for the weekend. It was Friday or whatever. And I had went to her house or whatever. So I think when I had came when I had came back home, how did how I don't remember how that went. I think when I had came back home, when I had snuck out the house, I think 
forgot how that went. Because when I came back, when I came back home, she stayed for a little bit because her mama was down the street on the Ave. You know what I'm saying? Her mama was down the street on the Ave um, at her auntie house. So we used to be, um, you know what I'm saying? I used to be lit. On the back there by the new house and stuff. On the new street. House, the new street used to be lit. So she would. So we came back. Um, so you know. When we came back from her house, you know where we going. We going well. Well, um, my grandma don't play that. We going well. It's off limits. When I say my grandma did not play about the block, she was on some, like, gang banging type stuff like you know when gangs really don't you know how when people be how them niggas be how um how them niggas be in gangs and stuff and um they be saying like you can't come to my block or whatever whatever that's how my grandma was she was like by that block she was like on ten like honey you not going over there don't even ask so me, being me, I came home from staying the weekend already at my friend house. And you know, I don't feel the need to tell. I don't feel the need to tell nobody where I'm going because I'm out of my business. Like, at that time, I didn't think I was grown, but you know what I'm saying? I felt like I didn't feel the need to be telling, you know what I'm saying, people my business. And I'm still like that to this day. But, anywho, but anyways, y'all, um, we went to the block, so, mind you, we weren't supposed to be at the block, we I don't even supposed to be on the block, so, I don't know who told her, or how she found that about me going to the block and leaving the house without, um, telling her, she know I left the house without telling her, but she know when I leave the house like that, like, when I guess she knew at that time when I was doing that, she knew where I was going, so, I don't know, she already know where I'm at, mind you, y'all gotta watch my previous story time, she already popped up on the block and everything, like, it was crazy, y'all, but anyways, she knew where I was, so, it was getting night time, like, it was getting, like, um, real late, so, we walked back home. So when I came home, my cousin was in the front. He was like, he was like Auntie Madge. I don't think you. He was like, Auntie Madge, I don't think you want to go back there. You know what I mean? It ain't like, I, I don't know. I can't say I did it. I, it ain't that. It wasn't that I didn't care at that time. It was just like, I was just so very. You know, I had a. Um, I know she want an attitude, like, like, I didn't show it, but in my mind, like, deep down, it was like, okay, like, okay, so, um, y'all, my little brother, my little brother came in, he was like, grandma wants you, so, y'all. Me and, me and my best friend both walked from my room all the way to her room. Her room, we had a four-bedroom house. It was like a big house. Big house, plus city. Four-bedroom. So, I walk, I'm, you know, I'm walking slow now because, you know, I'm walking slow now because I'm already knowing she knowing what's going on. So, I get back there. She's sitting on the bed like, She's sitting on the bed, like, in a war stance. Like, you know when you, you know when, like, when it's up, like, she's sitting on the bed. So, she said, so, what she said? 
She said, so you going to leave this house again? So you just leave this house without telling me where you going? You went to the block again? You know me, I'm just standing there because, you know, I rarely get in trouble. Like, rarely. Like, I'm telling y'all. I ain't come out with no problems. Good grades. You know what I'm saying? I was, like, basically a good girl. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get her no problems. But the only problem that she had to deal with with me is boys and um the block. Those was the problems. So, I'm just standing there. And now it's like, I'm knowing, like, she just gonna yell at me. Like, I'm already knowing, like, I'm gonna get yelled at. Like, yelled at? That's an understatement. She said, so you, she, she said, so you left this house again? And you ain't tell me nobody, you ain't tell me where you was going? You was over there on that block? You was on the block? I'm just standing there. I'm quiet as a mouse. I ain't, I ain't, I'm quiet as a mouse. I ain't say nothing. My best friend's standing by the door. Like, you ain't gonna say nothing? Like, you fit it, like, literally just sit here and just, like, listen to me get yelled at. So, that's what I'm thinking in my mind. Like, just go. Like, in my mind, I'm like, just go back in a room. Like, you ain't gotta come back here. Oh, it ain't enough. So... So she was just standing there, and my room was just like, took off from me. Y'all, when I stay, she took off on me. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't whooped me, because, you know, usually, when you be at age, I think I was like 15, around this age, I was like 15, I think. So, when you're a teenager, when you're a teenager, you know, when you get old like that, and you be playing with your parents and stuff, I don't care if you from where I'm from, if you come from where I come from and you know how it is growing up in hood and stuff like that. When you a teenager and you a female and your parents don't play that and you not listening, you being disobedient, they don't beat you with no with no belt. You don't get beat with no belt. You get slapped up. You know what I'm saying? You get treated like a grown up because if you out here, excuse me, if you out here trying to be grown, you going to catch some grown hands. I'm going to treat you like you grown. So, when I say... My grandma took off on me, y'all, like, literally, boop, 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 boop. I'm like, first of all, sweetheart, you're too old to be, you know, still fighting like, you, like you're 15. No, that's not what you do. You know what I mean? That's first of all, you're too old to be fighting, like, fighting and swinging on me. Like, I just took the money out the church basket or something, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just took all the ties out the church basket. Don't be swinging on me. Cause you know one thing about them church people, they do not play about them ties basket, your offering basket, all that. So she like literally, she literally like squared up with me and literally took off on me like I stole some out of the time basket. Like, so you know I'm not fighting her back. Her room was so big, you know what I'm saying? I'm running around and she running right behind me, literally like, literally like, boop boop boop. So my cousin had to come in there like. All right, auntie, all right, auntie, all right, auntie. When I say that was so embarrassing, all my little brothers, like, y'all, it's good. I'm sorry, it's good. But anyway, y'all, when I say she took off on me, my little brothers at this time just like laughing like it's the funniest thing in the world like literally end up dying laughing my cousin you know what i'm saying auntie all right that's enough auntie that's all right auntie all right that's enough man listen i was so embarrassed and my best friend literally just standing there at the door like you know what i'm saying and like like literally just standing there and i when i say y'all y'all when i say i was so embarrassed because I was so used to getting yelled at. I was so used to, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't give my, I didn't, I wasn't a problem child. You know what I'm saying? I ain't give my grandma no problems. I ain't give her no problem. Like, I need y'all to understand that. So, for me, it was more embarrassing and humiliating. Like, 
everything in my childhood, everything like I got in trouble about was always embarrassing and humiliating for me because I wasn't a problem child. Like I ain't get nobody no drum. I ain't get my grandma no drama. So it's like when I did get yelled at or when I did get in trouble about something, it was like so embarrassing for me because it was like this don't even happen to me. Like I'm not getting in trouble about nothing. I do what I want, you know. But. Y'all, this sauce, this sauce, this is that crap. That sauce fire. That sauce fire. I was so embarrassed and humiliated, and, and my best friend was just standing there at the door. Like, that was just so embarrassing for me. And all my little brothers, that was running around the house laughing. You know when you be in a household when you when it's a lot of y'all, but you got little siblings. When I say them boys were so annoying and aggravating, like it was just so embarrassing, y'all. Like I was like, I didn't even know how to feel. I didn't even know how to feel after that, y'all, because it was like, listen, the block ain't see me. I went back to the block now, but the block ain't see me, and I don't know how long. Like, I don't even know when I went back to the block. I went, I know for a fact I went back to the block, but I don't know when I went. You know what I'm saying? But I know for a fact I ain't go to the block in a long, long time. And my grandma sent my best friend home. She had to walk all the way. She had to walk to the air by herself. And it was dark, y'all, like. It was dark time. She was so pissed off, like, honey, you don't supposed to be doing all of this. You know what I'm saying? But, y'all, when I tell y'all, she was, like, livid. She was so livid. He ain't made no sense. I was just, I just know for a fact, I went back to the block, but, honey, the block ain't, I just know. Everybody else get that treatment. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, like, all my other sisters and brothers, like, they was problem kids. Like, they the ones who get that type of treatment. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know, I, that ain't me. So, you know, I was just in my room feeling like, oh, my God, it's the end of the world type. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, I was so embarrassed, y'all. I was just, like, so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. Hold on. My man said something, y'all. I need some napkins though. Hold on, y'all. Oh, he's trying to take me out. All right, so let me wrap this up. Um, yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Like, this was so. That was so embarrassing for me. I gotta go. My man taking me, trying to take me out. So I gotta go. I'm gonna see y'all on the flip side. Um, yeah, y'all. That's my first time getting a whooping. It was so embarrassing and humiliating for me because that treatment don't. I don't get that type of treatment. You know, everybody love me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody love me. I don't get in trouble. I don't get nobody no problems. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and on that post notification bell. Don't forget to share this video. Tell a friend to tell a fan. Follow me on all my social media platforms, y'all. I will see y'all in my next video. And um, don't forget to share this video, y'all. And I'm out.